in Jesus' name. We say thank you in advance for your word going forth, that it will not fall on deaf ears. Thank you in advance, God, that you're going to give us the spirit of understanding. You said if we open up our minds, you will give us the word to say. We believe by faith that you're going to teach through us. You're going to speak through us. We yield ourselves, our mind, our will, our emotions completely over to you. We say thank you in advance for doing the drawing. Thank you in advance for your spirit of understanding. And thank you in advance for all the souls that are going to be saved, set free, delivered, and made whole. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Amen. And again, we are talking about faith and how it works. Faith and how it works. And the last place we left off, we're just going to do a little quick review, um, was Romans chapter 3, verses 27. And it says, the law of faith. Um, and faith is a law. It's a, a law is something that works. So no matter what you do, it's always going to yield the same result. So if you sow good seed, you're going to reap good seed. Amen. You're going to have a good harvest. Yes. So it's all about what you put out there. And now we're going to go on to the next topic. It says, how does it release? Words release power. So that is how faith is released, through our words. So the first scripture you're going to look at is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. Whoever had it, just can release that. We having, the, we having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. 14, 14, 14. Mm -hmm. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. To God be the glory. And if you look at verse 13, it says, I believe. Yes. And therefore I spoke. I have yes. I spoken. So God wants us to have that personal relationship and yes. conversation with him. He's ready to hear our voice. Amen. Just like we said before, it doesn't. It, it's nothing wrong with getting a, a group prayer and having someone release over your life, but it's something when God is waiting on his child. Mm -hmm. Just like a mother or a father with their child. They're waiting to hear from their own son, yeah. their own child, instead of someone releasing the word for that child. Yeah. So mm -hmm. God is waiting to hear our voices, even when in prayer. It can be just Jesus. Yeah. He's waiting on you to say Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Lord, I thank you. He's Amen. waiting on your thank you. He's waiting on your Amen. praise. And yes. even the cry of a mother, a heart of a mother, is something about a mother's prayer over her child. Yes. Anybody else can release over your child, but it's something about when a mother releases from her belly yes. over her child. So God is waiting for us to activate our words and pray mm -hmm. and release what's in our hearts. Mm -hmm. Even if you have nothing to say, Lord, I don't know what to say, but I'm coming to you as I am. He delights in that. Mm -hmm. yes. So he wants us to present ourselves. Um, it says, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. To God be the glory. Has any one of you ever experienced like having to speak and going to God for yourself? And nobody else was around. Nobody picked up the phone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think everybody experienced that. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have. I um had a always thought that it was a certain way to pray, and then I told myself, I know I said just pray, just mm -hmm. pray. And when I get in situations. That sometimes your pride won't let you tell people certain things that you go through, so you just go to God and you pray for yourself. And that's what I found myself doing. Um, just praying and praying and having faith that God, whatever I come to God with, that He's going to make a way. That's right. And whether it's when I want Him to, or, you know, whenever God's ready to, you know, when He's, whenever He's ready for it, then I'll wait. But I just found myself just praying and asking God and just, oh God, please. Just, Help me. Just give it all to him. I'd rather give it to him. That's right. You know, than yes. to want it for somebody else. Just to right. glorify yourself. Mm -hmm. So I just thank God for being able to pray. Whether yes. I'm talking, praying, whatever. That's you right. know, it's, a, it's a, like you said, a personal relationship with you and God. Just having a conversation with him. Mm -hmm. And I just thank God for being able to go to him. Amen. 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 I thank God as well. We can have the same kind of spirit of faith That's that right. we don't have any doubt. The same kind of faith that Jesus got, the Spirit, we can have the same kind, but we can't have any doubt in our heart. Mm -hmm. We got to believe what God said. We got to believe what His Word said. We got to, mm -hmm. you know. And, and God said, once you see that you got that faith, mm -hmm. then He can work. Mm -hmm. Without faith, That's the work right. is dead. 
So you got to have that faith. Mm -hmm. And sincerity. You got to yes. think like a child. You got to yes. think, Lord, I need right. you. Yes. And that's a lot of times I just like yes. they just said, I cried in the way, like, well, Lord, I've been through so much, and you don't know what I did. He knows exactly what you did. Mm -hmm. He just waiting on you to present yourself as yes. you are. Mm -hmm. And said, I've been waiting for you to release. You've been trying to hold on and to be strong mm -hmm. on your own yes. strength. When, I, when the word said, come to me, all those who are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my mm -hmm. yoke upon you. And learn to make my yoke is easy, my burden is light. So God is saying, you don't have to carry that. Yeah. Stop carrying that. Stop holding on to stuff yeah. that way. You don't have to carry it. Come to me. Yeah. I'm here as a father with open arms. So a yeah. lot of people, even in the streets, feel like, I can't go to church. I don't I don't look like they look, and I don't sound like they sound, mm -hmm. and I don't pray like they pray. And God is looking on you just to come as you oh, are. Oh, the drug dealer, the prophet, yes. the game member. Yes. He's waiting on, he already knows what's in you. Mm -hmm. He created you, fair yes. what we made. So if you come to him with a heart cry, Lord, I don't know what you're saying, but I want to change. That's a prayer. Yes. 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 It's not about no length and how yes. elegant thou art. The, no. Lord, I need you. It's a prayer. Because mm -hmm. you're releasing it from your heart. Amen. And that's what God is looking at. To come to him as a child. To God be the glory. Amen. And again, we're talking about how faith is released. is released through your words and what yes. you say. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go to Mark chapter 11, verses 22 through 25. Mark chapter 11. Verses 22 through 25. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, yes. believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. And when you stand praying, forgive. Mm -hmm. If ye have fought against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, mm -hmm. may forgive you your trespasses. Yes. Amen. Amen. It goes back to what you said. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The doubt. Yes. No doubt. You got to have. You can have. You got. You can have faith, but you can't have no doubt. God can't work when He's seeing a doubt in your life. Amen. You know, that's because when you have doubt, that means you're not trusting him. Amen. You're not taking him at his word. You don't believe it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're speaking with your, with your mouth, but in your yeah. heart. Mm -hmm. It's got to be in the heart. Amen. Amen. And that's what the yeah. enemy wants us to be. He yeah. us rally. You can yeah. have strong faith. Yeah. You know, one person, one mm -hmm. person come in here and make you shift yes. your whole belief, just like with your sister. Mm -hmm. If you can share what. Yeah. My sister, uh, she called me and she said, Tyler, you know, she's on that position that was um, being held at her job or whatever. And her coworker that had been there, you know, years, she been there a year, said, um, pray about the position. And she did. And she called me and she said, Tyler, you pray for me? Don't you get on a prayer line tonight? I said, yeah, and I pray. I lift up and pray. Everybody pray for whatever. And I told her. I was like, um, the next day we talking, she said how she went to work and the vibe felt different. Mm -hmm. It's like people was um, not talking to her, would normally talk or the director would normally give her information, but they didn't. And I tell her, I said, don't worry about what vibe you feel or what you think people, because it's all in your head. Mm -hmm. I said, what God has for you is for you, and nobody can take that away yes, right. at all. What God has for you, mm -hmm. nobody can take away. Even if you didn't, don't get the job. Maybe that's not what God wants that's for you. Right. You know, I said, just do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I told her, I said, faith over fear, Daniel. Faith over fear. And then she got the um, the interview. She did mm -hmm. get an interview. Um, that following Friday, and she had um, to talk with the director and everybody, and she just waiting for, you know, the results. Mm -hmm. And I just thank God that she didn't listen to the doubt, you know, the doubt in her head. Right. I can't right. do it. I don't want to do it. That's I don't right. want to do it. But I don't want them to feel like that. Da, da, da. I say they give you, um, they tell you good things about your job, your work, what you do there since you've been there. They want you. They tell you to grow roots and all this stuff, and you still doubting yourself. They tell you you do a good job in the year you've been here. I said, just put the application in, have faith that God will work it out for you, and just leave like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and then just pray, and continue to pray about it if you want to. Just don't doubt it. Because mm -hmm. yes. again, what God has for you to do, and nobody can stop it. That's right. Yes. Amen. And just like with you, Sister Andre, and you going back to school, mm -hmm. like share your testimony of how doubt may have popped up. And mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, doubt truly popped up. When I first 
started, when I heard of me going back to school, I was like, man, how you gonna go back to school when you this old? <laughs> <laughs> but that was a doubt I had in my mind and the thinking. But I said, with God and my faith, I knew whatever I wanted to do, I could do it. I trusted my, I trusted God, so I, whatever I had to do to go to school, I did. I was went to school on time. I um, I did everything, all my work that I was supposed to do. I passed with A's and B's. Mm -hmm. Something I thought. Right. Of. Yeah, it's been a long Amen. time since I've been in school, so mm -hmm. I really doubted myself. But God, with God, I had faith, and it was mm -hmm. possible, and I graduated. So. Amen. My faith is strong in God. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And God wanted to work with what we had. Even yeah. a little bit. Yeah. You keep pressing and pressing yeah. and yeah. pressing. And be mindful who's in your ear. Yeah. Sometimes you got to just block out mm -hmm. just everything that's trying Amen. to distract you and say, okay, let me, let me study, let me stay the course, let me read my one verse over Amen. and over and over to build up your faith. Because yeah. um, that once you meditate on that word, you will be like that tree. Yes. Yeah. Planted by the river. So even when the doubt comes, you spring right back up and say, uh uh, God said, yes. He'll give me perfect peace if I yes. my mind stayed on Him. That one verse yes. is going to carry you through and it'll pop up at the right time. Yes. Yes. So God will manifest Himself if we hold on, if we believe. Yes. Yes. And make sure there's nothing blocking our blessings. And one of the blessed blockers is unforgiveness. Yes. And that a lot of people don't want to talk about it, but mm -hmm. you can't give God glory and have resentment in your heart. Yes. You can't expect God to lie. Expecting a breakthrough and healing and deliverance. And God said, hmm, you ain't had to talk to your mom in 15 years. Mm -hmm. I need you to deal with that. Yes. Yes. I need you to deal with not talking to your brother and not yes. talking to your sister. Because mm -hmm. God wants to bless us, but faith works by love. Yeah. Yeah. You can't push love out the way and say, Lord, I have faith. He said, that goes hand in hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It works together. So this is when verse 25 comes in. It says, and when you stand praying, Forgive mm -hmm. if you have ought against any that your father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. You can go down to verse 26. It says, mm -hmm. but if you do not forgive, neither will your father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. So God wants us to confess that. And any hindrance that you feel like, God, oh, this is too heavy. I can't do this on my own. Mm -hmm. Talk to him about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like you said before, even if you have to write it out and say, Lord, I'm angry. My mom wasn't there. My dad wasn't there. My sister don't talk to me. You gotta let that out. Amen. Yes. You cannot hold Amen. that inside yes. of you. Because it will not only affect the blessings that God wanna release, it starts to affect your health. Right. Yes. You get headaches, Amen. tightness in the chest, yes. tightness in the muscle. You try to yes. realize where is this attack mm -hmm. coming from? Because you're still holding on. Yes. And all God wants to do is release it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And release it. And you shared something about forgiveness. Yes, again, right? I was saying it's it feels so good to be able to look at that person and say that I did you so wrong and be able to forgive them and don't have, don't, don't hold that hate in your heart. Yeah. It feels good to like to be relieved that and they're looking at you like, this girl still talking to me after everything I did to her? Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's not going to block my blessings at all. Mm -hmm. I, I feel so good when I can forgive. Mm -hmm. And something I didn't share before when we were speaking about speaking to your mother or holding on stuff from the past, I, I did this for so long, y'all, holding on to what my mom or my dad didn't do as a child. Mm -hmm. I hold, when I say I held it, I, I still find reasons to blame them for things that went on in the past or why I'm, I feel this way, if I feel this way. Mm -hmm. And even with my brother, the same way, I'd be like, well, maybe he feel this way because you was a da 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 da. And mm -hmm. I kept doing that to my mom, no, not be thinking about how she would feel. Yes. Because she's an awesome mother. Yeah. You know, and I had to tell myself, don't worry about what she didn't do in the past, she's here now. Mm -hmm. And not saying that she's right. making up for the past, but she's doing what she can do in the now. Mm -hmm. And even my father the same way. He's always been in my life, but he's not been, to me, there how I felt like a father needed me. And today, it's not about me like that. As long as you're there for your grandkids, that's, right. that's what that's right. what me to me. And my, grand, my mom and my dad are awesome parents, and they're awesome you know, grandparents, and I just kind of hate that I kind of held that so long towards my mom. And maybe it was reasons why she things didn't happen the way I wanted to. Mm -hmm. But I let that go, forgave it, and just thank God that she did. She's able to help me mm -hmm. with my kids or whatever I need. I know I always can go back to my mom. So just being able to forgive and my dad, being able to forgive my mom is like the best thing. And my dad, just letting go, not even forgiving them, just letting go of yeah. 
what they didn't do. It ain't about what they didn't do. I mean, it bothers you, but it's what they're doing now that really, really right. matters. And I just thank God for having both of my parents, you know, mm -hmm. in my life and my kids' life. So, mm -hmm. and, God. and it frees you. Yeah. yeah. So if you have a problem, go to God. Yeah. He wants us to come to him. He's our daddy. Yeah. He's our father. He wants us to come with those issues to him. Yeah. He said, Dad, I have a hard time forgiving. Help yeah. me to forgive like you forgave Jesus. Mm -hmm. He wants us to come instead of covering up and masking it and masking right. it and masking it. Because sooner or later, that thing going to explode mm -hmm. and you're going to break. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you have to release it. So we can go to our daddy, which mm -hmm. is Jesus, mm -hmm. with every issue so we can, we, our blessing will be hindered. Yeah. And that the faith can flow like it's supposed oh, yes. to. The God be the glory. Amen. 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 I thank God because I was having a whole time because as individuals, you know, always want to be a part of my life, but constantly doing the same old thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I used to walk past, don't say anything to it, but now, after we had um, Faith Talk last week, mm -hmm. and you know, did the same thing. I said, oh no, I got to forgive you. Mm -hmm. I got to, you know, I got to talk to you. I can't hold it in. So I say, whatever you do, that's between you and God, but I'm going to speak to you. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to talk to you. I'm not going to let you handle my blessings. So now, I'm just, hey, go and do what you want to do. And if you want to keep doing, you know, continue doing what he's doing, I'm still going to speak. That's right. Yes, I said, I'm going to speak to you, brother. And yes, that's what I said. I said, oh, no, you're not going to stop my blessing. Amen. I said, I know you're shocked that I'm talking, but it's not me. Mm -hmm. It's Christ that's, that's right. working inside of me. Mm -hmm. And it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it, it makes a difference. Up. Yes. Yeah. Right. It frees you. And I'm going to be honest. I'm just um, give you this testimony. Even when my dad passed, I was upset with Christ. I was up healing. When people talk about healing, it's like, mm -mm. it was kind of a cynical thing. But I have to realize, I have to, someone said, you got to let that go. You have to release that. Mm -hmm. I have to literally release that to Jesus. Say, you know what? I'm upset. I'm angry. I prayed. I did. I believed for healing. It didn't happen. But I didn't know the conversation that my dad was having behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what they were talking about. I'm just, yeah. this is what I want. This is not, right. not God. Whatever yeah. your will yeah. is, Lord. I know this is what I want. <laughs> so, many times we have to even deal with the issues of people out there are angry with Christ. And mm -hmm. that's that will hinder the flow of faith. Yes. Right. So, the key is being transparent and being honest with Christ. And replace it with the word. God said he'll never leave you and never yes. forsake you. He'll always be with you. Yes. He loves you with yes. an everlasting love. So he's just waiting on you. So it frees you. It yes. frees you. To God be the glory. Amen. And now we're going to go to Proverbs chapter 4, verses 24. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 24. Put away from thee, mm -hmm. put away from thee a forward, forward, mm -hmm. forward mouth, and preserve lips put far from thee. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read that again. Mm -hmm. Put away from thee a forward mouth, mm -hmm. and pre preserve mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. lips put far from thee. <laughs> Put away from thee a forward mouth and preserve perverse mm -hmm. lips yeah. put far from thee. Amen. What you talking about? Amen. 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 Thank God for that because it's you got to be careful what you speak. That's right. Mm -hmm. And if it's not of God, you shouldn't let it come off your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, but the Bible speaks whatever in a man heart going to come out. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Whatever in you, you know, it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. If it's good, it's going to come out. If it's evil, it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. So God is telling us, you got to be careful what you speak. You know, you can't be dishonest, speaking all kind of things. And that's say, right. yeah, oh, man, I did this and I did that, and that's not of God. God don't want you to talk about that. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people say, well, I remember what I used to do back in the days. Boy, it was some good times. And you was out of the um, ark of safety. God don't want you to dwell on those things. Mm -hmm. New things. Something yeah. Fresh. Yes. He wants you to dwell on him. Mm -hmm. That's the only good thing there is. That's right. It's mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And 
see, as you get wiser, you'll realize what God is saying to us, you know. So we got to be careful what we what we speak out of our mouth. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for that. See, we got to keep our minds steadfast on them. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep our minds steadfast. Meditate yes. on it. Just like you said, if you meditate on the word, what's going to yes. come out is the word. Yeah, the word. word. You keep on yes. thinking about it. You keep on releasing yes. it. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. So, so, just like you said, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Yes, I know we mm -hmm. was, I was at a little mm -hmm. orientation and everybody in there, you know, when the, after the gentleman get finished speaking, I'm like speaking, I'm just saying, amen, amen, you know, because that's even. He said, I know someone going to church. I know someone to be in church because that was in me. And I was saying, amen, I was just agreeing, but that just let him know that's what's in the style of me. That's right. You know, whatever in you, it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to see your life living besides just you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to walk around with no name plate on you. That's right. You don't have to walk around and talk on God. That's right. And guess what? Because God said your light will shine. Mm -hmm. It will shine mm -hmm. if you got a light. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you got a light, and the light is Jesus. That's right. And when you, if you walk past a person, that individual know if you Christ like or not. Amen. How you carry yourself. That's right. How you speak to one another. You know. Because you never know who might need a kind word. That's right. You know, you don't know who you might be entertaining. What? Could be an angel. That's right. That's why you got to be careful. Because your life living will speak for you. Because mm -hmm. words say so. They're going to judge you. How you live. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, that's what's going to judge you. Yeah, lifestyle. Yes. You don't have to be in a pulpit. Yeah. It's a daily walk. It's a daily walk. You saying good morning is ministry. Yes. Amen. Even when nobody else say good morning. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Yes. That's ministry. Yes. And God is looking at that. It's the little things. You don't have to do grand things. Yes. It's a little thing. Good morning. God bless you. How are you? Yes. It's the little things. And your life, just like you said, your lifestyle, your yes. walk, your talk. People are paying attention to what we release. We're going to have to give an account to Yes. So Amen. death and life, just like you said, is in the power of the tongue. What we release over the children, your child, death and life is in the power of the tongue. We Amen. have to release words of life. Amen. When you call them slow and stupid, guess what? They want that stuff sticks yes. to them. And they can't, many of them can't shake it. It grows up in them because they're older and older. Remember, Daddy, what you told me? Mm -hmm. Remember, Mom? So yes. we have to cancel out words of death and Amen. speak life and speak mm -hmm. life. You yes. are a genius. Yes. You are the head and not the head. Yes. You are above. Yes. Affirmation. Go ahead. No, I was saying affirmation. Like, That's right. It's good to um, give kid affirmation. Mm -hmm. I am great. Like my son, uh, I was happy in kindergarten. And I was like, Lord, he just called me every other day about my son. I, you know, I prayed, but I didn't get to cry. I was like, nah, my baby. was like, what's going on last year? We didn't have those problems. Mm -hmm. And every morning, and, I, and he remembered to this day, every morning I was like, I am great. I am smart. I will be good. Every morning, I am great. I am smart. I will be good. I am great. I'm, every morning, he was like, Mama, remember what I got to say? And he would say it every time. I told the teacher that this is what I have him saying. Yeah. Because it has to be, you know, kids feed, I was a kid, so kids feed off each other. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not saying he's an angel, but just the, the stuff that she was saying our son was doing, I was like, hold on, wait a minute, let me pray for my baby. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I like literally was crying. I was calling mm -hmm. my mom like, Mama, what's going on Like with my child? And I thought it wasn't nothing in the home that was making him act that way. Something that he was seeing. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, let me pray for my baby. Mm -hmm. I gave him that affirmation. And he he said everything. He's like, he's like, I don't know what you um did with JC on, but mm -hmm. he he's doing a whole lot better. I mm -hmm. hope it can see. That's why I said, no, it will. Yeah. She was like, I hope he keeps it. I said, it will. Yeah. You speak in faith right now. Yeah. I said, it will. Yeah. And yeah. She said to me, she was like, I hope he keeps it up. We'll see. I said, no, he will. Ain't had no more problems with it. Yes. Not no more problems. I said, I just think that you know, kids just they label kids. Yes. That's right. He's a bad child. He's a bad kid. Mm -hmm. He's that so they know your name when you say yes. 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 what you know what J C I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. you know, they just think that it's the same little child. Mm -hmm. I'm like, ain't no, nobody gonna label my child. That's right. yes. Nobody right. gonna label my child and put mm -hmm. him as this bad child. That's you're right. not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. you're not, well, none mm -hmm. of my kids. You're not gonna label my child. Mm -hmm. After praying and having faith that I know God was gonna work that out, and He did. I just thank God for. You know, just just working that out for me because I was getting scared because I, I don't want my son to grow up in this world where 
like all black men are labeled. Mm-hmm. They all think the same way yeah. about black men. No, I mean, not, you're not raised like that. Mm-hmm. The, and then the teacher can tell me, I could tell, like, even my oldest daughter, if she was to do something that's out of character, mm-hmm. the teacher, we have a conversation, she was like, uh, I mean, you need to talk to Nabea, da, da, da. And she'll say, I said, yeah, because I didn't raise her like that. She said, I could tell you, I don't, and I don't. Mm-hmm. I want the best out of all my kids. But you have to speak that over them, mm-hmm. give them affirmation, let them know that they're smart, you're beautiful. Because yes. kids are cruel. Mm-hmm. And some adults are too, especially yeah. in the school system. Yes. Like, yes. They, are, they will make mm-hmm. you feel less than as well. Yes. But if I instill it in my head, you're beautiful, can't nobody tell you no different, they're going to believe that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I just thank God for just being able to pray you know, mm-hmm. over my kids and being able to go to my parents and just talk to them about certain situations. First thing she said, just talk to them. Just Amen. talk to them. And that's what I did. And I just thank God for just turning it, it all around. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Because of what you release. Yeah. 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 So it, you can be a single mom. You can yeah. be a single parent. But it's something about what you release over your children yeah. mm-hmm. that makes the difference. It, it's something about you releasing life and yes. life before the world gets to them, before they yeah, even right. get into the classroom. Like, uh uh-huh, uh uh-huh, uh uh-huh. uh. You will succeed yes. over and over and over yes. and to the point where they, when they, when you forget to release it, they remind you about, yes. oh, mommy, you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to release it. You forgot to pray. You pr- yes. allow that and still in the, in the now at a young age. Yes. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to stay, we're going to stay right in Proverbs and you're going to go to chapter 12, verse 18. Proverbs chapter 12. Verse 18. There is that speaketh right, the piercing of the sword, but the tongue of the wise is hell. There is that speaketh right, the piercing of the sword, but the tongue of the wise is hell. There is that speaketh right, the piercing of the sword, but the tongue of the wise is hell. Amen. Again, the tongue. Yes, the, the tongue. mouth. Yes. And there's it's like power. a so- Yes, there's power. It's power. power. It's power. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's powerful. You can speak life mm-hmm. and you can speak death. Mm-hmm. You can speak healing over your own self and you mm-hmm. also you can speak sickness. That's right. Mm-hmm. And I, like I said before, you know, you want to get off work early and you go tell your supervisor, oh, I got a headache. <laughs> By the time you done left that job, you got it. Because you stuck it. See, when God made, when God made this world, all he did was speak. Yeah. He spoke right. it. Mm-hmm. He said, let there be, and it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 I thought I did. And I believe what he said. You know, but God was going to give me my heart to die. Because he had, you know. And he told me all that sweet thing I want to hear. But he told a lot of lies with it also. So, as I called him and I said, Mom, I thought you said you wasn't talking to this young lady. No, 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 she so my mind was so clear when I was going home, mm-hmm. God spoke to me. And you want something like that. I said, no, Lord. No, I don't want it. <laughs> Not the taste right out of my mouth. Right. Mm-hmm. But you was going to give me my heart desire. Right. But he asked a question. And it was up to me whether I wanted or if I didn't. And I said, no, Lord. Mm-hmm. And that was the end of that. And I thank God, because he loves us just that much. Right. He don't want you to go through anything you don't have to. That's right. Now, you know this guy dipping in there with Sue, Jane, and Sally. Now, why are you going to fall in the same rut? Right. He's not going to treat you no better, because you only can, you only can love one. Because God said you only can love one. You can't love him I can't, he can't love me and Jane at the same time. God said you're going to hit one and love the other. God made it that way. You have people, I got a wife and I got me a sweetheart. 
And I love both of them the same. That yeah, devil is a lot. You can't love them the same. Because God said that. Because he knew it was going to come up when they say that. So they're going to treat one better than the other. So I thank God for just open my eyes. And I didn't have this ear when he spoke to me. You know, sometimes you can harden your heart. God knocking on it. He pounding on it to just to let you see what's going on. But you want to run that stop sign anyway. That's a stop sign. Why, why do you want to run the stop sign? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why do you want to? And all he's saying is the love that you want is from me. It's coming this yeah. way. Right. He's coming, he's still not. Yeah, it's still not. Right. And then he releases you to what yeah. you want. Yeah. And he's, he's come back with his arms open like, I've been waiting. Yeah. So I can give you the love. Yeah. That yes. Because yes. fill yes. the void. Yeah. Feel, and that's all a lot of people are turning the opposite way because they try to find their, their love in, in, in man. Yes. Right. But the yeah. love is trying to guide yes. his love. Everything you need is in him. Yes. The peace, right. the joy, the love mm -hmm. is all in him. Yes. He mm -hmm. said you done tried everything. Yeah. That's right. You done tried everything. You done tried everybody. Mm -hmm. Give me a chance. That's right. Give me a chance. Prove me. Amen. And I'll show you. That's what he asked him. He said, give me a chance. I love you. That's right. I'm not going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. Why you want to give me a chance? I'm not going to talk about you. That's Why right. you don't want to give me a chance? That's right. That's right. I'm not going to knock you upside Jesus. your head. Why you want to give me a chance? Jesus. A man, a woman, some women think a man love them when they bust them all upside the head. Yeah. Not me. I said, I'm too tender. That's right. You know, that's not love. The enemy trying to take you out. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful mm -hmm. when you say you love somebody. That's right. You got to make sure God send that individual Amen. to you. You got to He's be careful. That. You releasing that for a reason. Because <laughs> I'm over here getting all teary-eyed and all kind of things over here while you stand. So I'm just like, okay, ooh. Yeah. Like, it's just, I prayed for Jesus. Yes. Like, I was going through the situation I was in. I prayed, y'all. Uh, I prayed God. Please take these feelings out of my, you know, out of my heart. Yes. Like, I had to be there because yes. of my kids. Mm -hmm. Take these feelings out of my heart. I don't. I, this is not happening. I don't want to feel like this. I shouldn't be crying every night. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be uh, feel like I have something uh, a price tag held yes. in my head. I'm mm -hmm. like God. Please, please take this out of my life. Just take it. Take it out. Yes. Take it out. And y'all, I promise you, over time, things that used to bother me don't bother me no yes. more. And I said, you know what, God? No more. That final straw, I was like, no more. Yeah. And y'all, I don't, I, I can't, I don't remember what day it was or how it happened, mm -hmm. but it's just like, the feels was gone. Gone. When I said yeah. gone, gone, I, when I said I love, yeah. I thought I loved this man. <laughs> yes. You couldn't tell it right now. Yeah. Because yeah. all the feel, everything I asked God for to take away from me, he did yeah, it. He did it. And yeah. I feel so much, so much peace. And so much of my burden, you know, lifted off of me. Yes. So it's like, and I told myself, I was like, I don't want to date nobody else. Yes. I want God to send me my yes. husband. Yes. And I was just going to work on myself and be a better person for me and my kids. And that's what I was doing. Yes. But God sent my boyfriend. Yes. Jesus. My <laughs> current boyfriend, he sent, I know, and I, and I put some posters on social media, but I don't want to brag and that like that. But I know God sent this man to me. This, yes. this is the man that God sent to me. I even had conversations with you. And he was like, Miss Hayes, it's a story. But it's true how the way we met, mm -hmm. I knew it was God. Because the old me wouldn't even give a man a time of day. I would even say, I had a boyfriend when I didn't. Because I just didn't want to be deal with the same thing. Because me in my head, it was the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. Over yeah. and over. Mm -hmm. But I just knew that God sent this man to me. By the way, he was always disrespectful. Mm -hmm. This man, I was out in the yard doing yard work. That's how I met him. I didn't meet him in no club. I didn't meet him in no streets. I didn't meet him nowhere. I met him in the yard. Yes. And he came to me as you know, as a gentleman. And something just said, listen. Yes. And I listened to him talk. He was holding my hand while he was talking to me and looking in my eyes. Mm -hmm. I ain't never experienced stuff like that. Yes. I, didn't, I knew something was genuine about it. Yeah. So he was getting his number, and he told me to call him. I still didn't come. I was like, I ain't got time for this man. So I'm say, call him. And this was two years ago, will be two years ago, um, come June. Um, I decided to call him. He mm -hmm. said, I, I never take my phone into work. But I text him good morning, mm -hmm. that morning. And he's, we've been talking ever since. Mm -hmm. And he told me we dated 
Then, you know, then we did everything the right way. I'm like, well, this this is this will be my husband. I I knew it. I felt it because he was totally different. Mm-hmm. He he was totally different from any that I've ever experienced. Yeah. And now when I talk about him, I get teary eyed. Like, yeah. I want to cry. <laughs> when I talk about him, the one thing that will ever always stick out to me, this man told me, he said, the only way I can love you right is love you through God. I said, Jesus. That's my husband. Amen. I told, I said, that's my husband. Amen. He told me that he said, the only way that I can love you right is to love you through God. And yes, he's done that. And he's never, he kept his promise. Yeah. I, what I thought love was, ain't hey, nothing compared to what this man loved me. Jesus. Nothing. I knew what love was. Real love? Yeah. Until this man, he loved me selfishly. Mm-hmm. He loved me. He would give me his last. He would rather him, himself struggle than I struggle. Mm-hmm. He got respect for me. Yes. God sent me up in God sent me up God sent me up And he loved the Lord as well. Yes. He he pushed me to do better. He was like, no, I'll I go to Bible study and stuff. He was like, all right, baby. He was like, um, uh, me and Grant was on the phone after uh, uh, prayer line one night, and we he was sleeping. He had to go work the next day. He said, baby, I don't get excited about the Lord and all. But I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> I gotta go see me and his grandma was talking. We was like having our own yeah. service on the on the phone, talking mm-hmm. about this life, relationship, everything. It just feel good. Like he support me one hundred percent when it comes to like um bettering myself with God. And he he do he, he do the same thing. Yes. You know, and I just thank God for sending me that man that helped me not only better myself but push me to yes. get close to God. Yeah. Like we started off like I bought him a uh TDJ Destiny book. Mm-hmm. We would like read here, read stuff highlighted and say it for me when I came to his house. Yes. Jesus. We would like read stuff together. Um, online church. We didn't make it a church. We would watch TDJ on online. Mm-hmm. Just like God, this, this man. We growing in God together. Yes. Not apart. Yes. That's yeah. right. And I just thank God for just because I needed it. I needed yes. somebody who's gonna push me closer yes. to God versus mm-hmm. keep me away from him. Yes. Amen. So that's when I say, I know God. People probably think she crazy. No, God sent this man. I know he did. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not Sorry. saying that I need, I wanted and needed it. I just say, God, whenever you see me, that man for me, I'll be waiting. You know, I'll be, I'll be yeah. ready. Mm-hmm. Not saying I need it, I need right. a man. Yeah. But he sent him. Mm-hmm. And I just thank God for him. Amen. That's right. right. That's right. And he would use people to minister his love to you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. He would use people. He worked through people. He would yes. use people to minister love. He, he could use a little mm-hmm. child to minister love. They child may come up to you and hug you like, what's this yes. child? Please come up and hug me. Mm-hmm. And I said, my daughter needed a hug. He yes. would use that yes. five-year-old yes. child yes. to minister yes. his love to you. Right. And just and just like we said about relationships, you don't have to settle. Yes. No. You don't have to accept the abuse. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And, and people don't understand, just like you said before, the, the worst type of abuse, emotional, is that that control, that yes. emotional right. abuse. Right. Yeah. When someone says, you know, you're not good enough or you're not attractive enough, you'll never get nobody. They got to get to your head yes. before they can really control you. So the key is making sure we continue to renew our mind and learn who we are in Christ. Yes. Right. We don't have to settle. We don't have to believe that there's nobody else who will love me. So I'm going to just settle because the one I got is. Mm-hmm. Or don't he hit me. Or don't he believe negative words. You don't have to. God mm-hmm. loved us enough mm-hmm. to redeem us from yes. that. Yes. We don't yes. have to accept abuse. We don't have to accept sickness. No. We don't have to accept nothing the enemy gives us. He came. He died on the cross. Not for you to be abused. No. Right. No. 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 So we don't have to settle. That's right. We have to wait on God. Don't accept everything that comes your way. Say, Lord, is this from you? Talk to God about it. Amen. God, is this from you? You look good. You smell good. All that. Amen. Are you saying yes to this? I'm actually saying yes. Are you saying yes to this? We got to hear from God. Yes. Because there's wolves in sheep clothing that appear to be right. Yes. The glory of God looks like them. Yes. But you would know of them by the fruit they produce. Yeah. How they speaking to you? Yes. How they treating you? Yes. So we have to take notice of all that. Yes. So it lets us know there's that speak like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. The words are being released in the atmosphere. And just like you said before, um, people say sticks and stones, just like you said. Yeah. They break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Yes. Words will yes. hurt. Yes, it do. Yeah. And it will yeah. stick to you. Yes. If that was yeah. the case, you wouldn't have older women and men remember what what was spoken over the yes. five and four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's still in their consciousness. Yes. So it lets 
lets us know death and life is in the power of the tongue and what's released over us. Yes. It is power in that. Yes. We have to be mindful of what we release. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to go to Proverbs. Stick right in Proverbs. Next door. In chapter 13. Verses 2. Proverbs chapter 13. Verse 2. From the fruits of their lips, people enjoy good things, but the unfaithful have an appetite for violence. I'm going to begin. Mm -hmm. From the fruit of their lips, people enjoy good things, but the unfaithful have an appetite for violence. Amen. 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 Again, the mouth. Yes. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it said about the fruit of his mouth. Eat good. A man should eat good by the fruit of his mouth. Amen. Yes. So if you're producing good words, you're gonna reap a good harvest. Yes. Amen. You keep yes. on seeking healing. Mm -hmm. I'm healed. My strength yes. is healed. My mind is at peace. In the midst of chaos, you mm -hmm. know it's crazy stuff going on around you. Yes. But the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. At the mind of Christ, the mind of Christ, the mind of Christ. Yes. You keep on releasing that. Mm -hmm. And you'll be walking in stability. Everybody else around you yes. going crazy. Mm -hmm. And in confusion, but because you keep on releasing it. Mm -hmm. And stay in stuff, mm -hmm. consistent with it. Consistent. Yes. You're gonna see the effects mm -hmm. of that. Yes. A man of a Good word will prosper. That's right. You're doing good, you will prosper. Mm -hmm. He will bless you in your body, mm -hmm. financial, mm -hmm. in your family, you know. He will, you know, multiply. Mm -hmm. But if you got evil words, will provoke against you. Mm -hmm. Nobody want to be nobody. You know, if you're right. doing all kind of bad stuff, you, you know, nobody wants to be around a person mm -hmm. always doing something wrong. Negative. Right. See, evil can cause death. Mm -hmm. Someone can kill you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's right there. You got to be careful when you're doing things that it's not of God. Mm -hmm. If you live by the sword, you're going to die by it. Mm -hmm. That's what the word says. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful what you're doing. So it's good to have good words. Mm -hmm. You will you reap the, the harvest. That's right. You have, you know. Someone will come and just bless you. Amen. Oh, Sister Tim, I love you so much. Hey, God bless you, sister. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. God right. blesses his That's children. Right. Yeah. And you come here and your face all frowned up. Oh, no. God, you say give Sister Tiffany some money looking like that. <laughs> oh, no, no. Not Sister <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> so you got to be careful. Amen. That's right. You know, you got to be careful what we do and what we say. Because somebody, right. somebody is watching. That's right. That's somebody is watching. Right. Somebody is watching. Mm -hmm. And guess what? These little kids watching as right. well. Mm -hmm. They can tell you, oh, yes. mama, how you, how you say you? Mama, how you say you saying you saying that? Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Pay attention. You got to be careful. They do. Mm -hmm. they think they think. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they'll start to copy. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, you yeah. keep on releasing prayer by the time you know it, they copy your prayer. Yeah. Amen. My, it's yeah. like, <laughs> my, daughter, um, my daughter, well, she said, um, I said, Nevaeh, you be out on the phone all the time. I'm like, who you be on the phone with? And she said the same thing. That she was like, well, you be up, what you be doing? My son said, she, my mama be praying. Yeah. <laughs> she, and they know. They know when my door shut. They know what time I get. It's like they already had adjusted to it. They know what time the prayer line on. They mm -hmm. know that if they hear my, and I normally have it on speakerphone, so they would walk into my room, they would hear the phone, uh -huh. and they'll be like, they'll do like that, and they'll go around. They already got the routine. My mom would be praying. Yes, or my right. mom was singing. Amen. You know, something like that, because they already know my routine. Yes. At, you know, at night, I would anoint them, right? Mm -hmm. And one night, I forgot what I was doing, but they were getting ready to go to bed before I um, anoint them. And um, I said, Zay, JC, I might come here. And they said, oh, Mani already did it. They overtook mm -hmm. me. She had already anointed them before I even had got to them. Yes. And I thank God for that. Like, my oldest daughter, she she started to read. She was out, I was outside in my little shed, and I was cleaning up. But she was reading lines with me. And her and her seven-year-old sister was on the picnic table reading from her Bible. Mm -hmm. She was reading from the Bible that I, like she was, it was almost like that. She was trying to explain to her what the yes, what it was saying yes. and then my seven year my daughter got up my seven year old started reading herself she's very smart for um seven mm -hmm. and she could read real good and she was reading herself and i, and I didn't say nothing i just looked and just smiled because i was like look at my baby yes you know mm -hmm. they really mm -hmm. learn in mm -hmm. watching me and i know that i have to be set a positive example for them because 
they gonna do whatever it's in their mama do. That's right. And I just thank God. Mm-hmm. Thank God for their effort as well. Because I tell my daughter, mm-hmm. I said, you got so many kids here. And all of them got all kinds of spirits going on. Mm-hmm. You need to let them just grab a scripture out anywhere in the Bible right. and read it. Mm-hmm. And you, when, once they keep doing that, then you'll see God going to start changing and shifting the atmosphere That's in right. the house. That's right. You know, instead of all them bickering back and marrying each other, let them read a scripture to you. Mm-hmm. Just everybody sit to the table and start reading. Amen. And you'll see a difference in your life and in your household. And I, and I tell her that all the time. She said, okay, mama. But that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, but I, you know, even though I pray for them, that's right. but you got to learn to pray for yourself. Right. Right. And pray for your kids as well. Amen. But, you know, hopefully she'll get it together and have all of them sit to the table with a Bible and read a scripture. Mm-hmm. And God will make a difference in that's all right. of them life. You got to train them up. That's yeah. right. Yes, mm-hmm. you got to train them up. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people are looking at us. Yes. Because mm-hmm. like you said before, they'll never open up the world or even come to church, but they're watching it. They're watching yes. yes. They're watching. Yes. They're saying, there's something different about her, something different mm-hmm. about you. They don't know what it is, but they're watching. They're yes. observing. Mm-hmm. And they see the glory of God. They see the light of Jesus. Yes. And that's why it's so important. Don't dim your light no matter what people think. Or yes. she thinks she better. No. He thinks she, he better. No, it's the glory of God. Yes. Mm-hmm. And yes. you don't understand, that person may be suicidal, but your smile every morning is ministering to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I want to give up. But every time I see her smiling, I be wondering what makes her happy, what makes right. her so joyful. By the time you know, they come up to you like, can I ask you a question? Why are you always smiling? And by the time you know, you're introducing Jesus. That's yes. a soul. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. yes. Amen. Right. Yes. That's a soul. And the enemy want to play with our emotions. He wants us to get slumped in the dump like, what was you looking over? Your prayer's not working. Your son is rebellious. Your daughter's doing this. You want us to meditate on everything that's wrong. Yeah. Right. So it can shift our day. Yeah. To the point right. we become sad. And, yeah. But there's someone waiting on your smile every morning. Amen. Yes. <laughs> and you're the one. And people yes. know that. There are yes. yes. people right. waiting on your smile. Yeah. Waiting on your smile, waiting yes. on your smile. Yes. <laughs> there's somebody waiting on your smile. Yes. You smile and say, oh my goodness, I feel better. And even your style of dressing, people don't understand it. I know. People want to be traditional, but even your style, for mm-hmm. example, um, fashionable. Mm-hmm. That's the gift, the area God gifted you in. Mm-hmm. You don't understand your bright earrings and your bright colored clothes can bring lift up depression. Mm-hmm. I know people may think this is crazy, right. but God has placed a gift inside of us. Mm-hmm. Whether it's comical, some people have the ability to make people laugh. Mm-hmm. You don't understand your your one joke. Just lifted up a spirit of, yes. of deep hurt and yes. pain over someone. Mm-hmm. Someone style of dressing and make them feel like, oh man, your color just shifted my whole mindset. Yes. And mm-hmm. someone else's ability just to be patient and listen. Don't even yes. talk. Like, and just let them release. Mm-hmm. That's ministry. Yes. It's not always in the pulpit. It's yes. not about the title in front of your name. It's about what are you using? What how are you using the gifts God put in you? Yes. Mm-hmm. Your voice, yes. your dress code, yes. your your diligence and perseverance. That's ministry. Yes. Yeah. Right. So God wants us to work with what we have. Don't put him in a box. And I'm learning that. We're like, yeah. don't put, God said, I'm not even in the box. What are you doing? Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. And your smile. Yeah. 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 People don't understand. You gotta give God everything he gave back to you. Tell him yes. what, you what, what do you want me to do with my voice? Let me use my voice to speak or to signal somebody who's depressed. Yes. Let me take somebody else out who, who need an outfit for work. And I know I like fashion. Let me take them out and let yes. them with some tips and stuff. That is ministry. And God yes. wants to work with what we have. Amen. Amen. You do. That's it. You do. And he'll increase it. He'll yes, make more again. Right. Amen. Now we're going to go to Psalms 89. Psalms 149. 89. Okay. Mm-hmm. Psalms 89. 89. Verse 34. Uh-huh. Psalms 89, verse 34. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is going out of my lips. My covenant will I not break, 
nor alter the thing that is going out of my lips. Amen. Amen. Be mindful of what you say. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, say that again. Be mindful of what you say to people. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, every time you see a rainbow in the sky, that's a covenant. That is. Mm -hmm. He let me know that, that this world will not be destroyed by water again, but fire. Amen. Next sound. That's the covenant. Amen. When you see that rainbow, that's his covenant. That's a promise. That's a promise. That's right. He promises that. That's right. So you got to, you got to, you know, trust in God and believe what He said. He said, "I'm not going to change for no man." That's right. He Amen. said, "What I say to one, I say on the all." That's Amen. right. You know. That's right. He said, "My judgment is right." Amen. Whether you like it or not, that's it's right. judgment. He said, "I use what I want to use. Mm -hmm. I bless who that's I want right. to bless." Amen. Amen. That's God. You probably say, well, I don't know why she be getting all this stuff and she and God giving her this thing and I'm doing all that. God says it's not your time. That's right. Yeah. It's not your time. Mm -hmm. You just keep the faith That's and you right. keep doing what I say do. Mm -hmm. When your time comes, your season comes, right. you will get what I promise you. And celebrate the body be Yes. Yeah. Yes, you got to be right. happy for That's one another. Right. Amen. I'm going to be happy for you and your man because you know God is able Amen. to bless it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. you just got to, you know, just take God at his word. Mm -hmm. He's not going to tell you nothing that not that he's not going to do. Amen. He said he's the, he's the father That's right. of the truth. He can't lie. He won't he lie. lie. Not in the nature it's not lie. in him. Yeah. It's not in him. Hold on to Just hold on. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hold yes. on, sister. That's right. Amen. Amen. And it, just like you said, my covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is going out of my lips. So it may not come when you want it to come. It's yes. going to come to pass. Right. Amen. Yes. It's going to come to pass. So he's a covenant keeping God. He went to the cross. He died on the cross so you can be healed, yes. saved, set free, and delivered. He's not going to undo that. It's already yeah, done. Already. Mm -hmm. Is he forgiving you? Is thrown in the sea of forgiveness. Forgive. Release yes. the sins. It's covered in the blood. He's not going to undo that. It's, it's already right. done. Yes. So it reminds us he's a God of truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's a God of truth. The enemy lies to you. He's speaking the lies. Yes. Mm -hmm. But God's speaking the truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. And there may be someone out there who desires to be saved. You do not know Jesus. This is the time to open up your heart. Give him a chance to love you. Give him a chance to renew your mind and change your heart. If you feel stuck like, wow, I want to change, I don't know how to change, come to him as you are. You're going to say in Romans 10 and 9 that if we confess in our, with our mouths and believe in our heart that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And that's the first step to continue your relationship with Christ. Talk to him. That's what prayer is. Get into your word. Even if it's one verse, meditate on that verse daily. Every day, that's going to build up your faith and strengthen you. If you fall, get back up. Don't stop there. Don't let the enemy deceive you and make you feel like, I ain't getting this right. It's not working. It's working. God is doing it in the spirit. And everybody's been testifying. We're all a work in progress. None of us has arrived. We're growing Amen. daily. Amen. God is changing us Amen. and taking layers off of us Amen. daily. Amen. To God be the glory. Maybe you have backslid for whatever reason. Um, you got out of the ark of safety. Just get back in the line and repent. Repent means turn around and ask God to forgive you. Amen. Stand on First John 1 and 9. If we confess our sins, he is just and able to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And it's thrown in a sea of forgiveness. The enemy want to condemn you and make you feel like, oh, remember what you did two years ago and mm -hmm. last night? No. Once you release it, it's washed in the blood. Amen. It's Amen. thrown in a sea of forgiveness. No more condemnation. You are free. Yes. The sun says free is free indeed. So we thank God in advance for all the souls. Amen. That's Amen. saved and set Amen. free and delivered. To God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. And now we are going to start to sow into the kingdom. And we thank God even for those who have sown into the ministry. Um, and that is to advance the word of God, to allow the word to go forth. So we thank God and we, we're expecting a harvest. Through my yes. soul, however God choose to create or manifest that harvest, we're expecting a harvest. So at Amen. this time, we're going to sow whatever God has put on your heart. Amen. And we're going to come in agreement and pray over the seed. Ready, woman. 
guys. This is Andre. <laughs> if you can release the prayer over the sea. Amen. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you to say thank, thank you for the blessing. Lord, bless those who had to give and those who wanted to give but did not have. Still bless them, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 